We are still talking about the migrant problem, but this time in Europe itself. Ever heard of an island called Mayotte? Well, it is an archipelago in France's overseas territory that is now in the headlines ever since the interior minister in that country launched a series of operations grouped under the name One Bushu aimed at removing illegal migrants, mostly from neighboring Comoros Islands, from the uncertainty slums of the island. Many have denounced the operation as brutal and anti-poor, targeting Africans who reside there. Here now is a report. Famous for its stunning coral reefs and lagoon, Mayotte is home to an estimated 350,000 people. It has been in the headlines for riots and unrest, with islanders experiencing rising poverty. They complain about an increase in immigration, mainly from the Comoros, which has put pressure on public services. As part of a plan to tackle the migration, the French government is planning a major demolition operation known as Operation Huamabushu to get rid of what it says are illegal dwellings or shanty towns. It has also boosted the police and paramilitary presence on the island to 1,300 officers. The threat to us is that they will destroy our property, our homes, even though they are people who have been here for 35 years, 30 years, 25 years and even 20 years. The Indian Ocean archipelago of the Comoros has however vowed not to accept migrants expelled from the neighbouring Mayotte. Those without papers are to be sent back to the Comoran island of Anjuan, 70 kilometers away, Mayotte and the three islands of the present-day Comoros were French territories until 1975. We are against the operation. We have initiated discussions with our partner France, which is a partner. We think that dialogue could be a better response than actions like this. Until then, we don't know, but I hope it will be stopped so that we can discuss and see the ways and means for peace and security to reign in our country and in the region. French authorities in early April raised a makeshift settlement on the Indian Ocean island after overnight unrest sparked by government plans to clear slums and send illegal migrants back to the neighbouring Comoros. Operation Wuamubushu has in recent days triggered clashes between youths and security forces on the French island and fueled political tensions with the Comoros. Woman arguing and pushing the white man. The issue has stoked a lot of tension. Even the human rights activists have expressed concern about actions taken against irregular migrants. The prefect of Mayotte said the small slum was being cleared after a December court order to make way for a vocational training institute. We won't stop the operations that we're carrying out today to fight against delinquency and unhealthy housing with their consequences on illegal immigration. The securing operations are going on as planned. You have the presence of the police and the riot police behind you. They are here today. They will be there tomorrow. The operation has triggered reactions. A dozen mayors from several towns on the Comoran island of Anjouan protested on the streets of the capital. That mini-protest expanded to the streets of Paris. Thousands of protesters, including many undocumented migrants, marched in the French capital against planned changes to immigration laws and evictions from the Indian Ocean island of Mayotte. This is clearly a vile operation. In fact, the hunt for the poor is on in Mayotte. That's what the operation is all about. Because they talk to us about delinquents. They talk to us about illegal migrants. But the reality is that it's women and men, young people too, who are poor. In a temporary relief, a French court halted the controversial expulsion of migrants from a slum in Mayotte and also suspended passenger traffic at a port where those deported usually land. Many Africans, especially Comorans, try to reach Mayotte every year. These risky crossings risk ending in tragedy when the Kwasa Kwasa, small motorized fishing boats used by people smugglers, are wrecked. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One.